Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we've probably got one of the most beautiful snakes in Southern Africa. This is the Green Mamba. This is the Eastern Green Mamba. It's a Dendra Aspis Augusticeps, and it's an absolutely beautiful snake. very velvety color, they're bright, bright green on the top with sometimes edgings of yellow scales with a yellowy green underbelly. Now these snakes occur up in East Africa, in Tanzania, Kenya, down into northern Mozambique and then there's an isolated population down here in South Africa which occurs in KwaZulu-Natal and a little bit in the Eastern Cape. So green mambas are actually completely coastal they live in very coastal habitats, coastal forests, coastal mangrove areas, and usually don't go further than seven kilometers from the ocean. So there is an isolated population that is a little bit further than seven kilometers, but as a rule of thumb, these guys are found mostly around coastal areas. In Kenya and Tanzania, they have actually very high density areas, or were locally abundant, where they've actually been found to be around three mambas in one tree. Absolutely beautiful snake, very, very well adapted, and actually the closest relative to the black mamba. These two guys are very closely related, as opposed to the other two mamba species that occur in Africa, which is the West African, as well as the Jameson's mamba. Now, they're considered to be three green mambas, the Western, the Jameson's, and the Eastern green, but this is by far the most beautiful. This is also the smallest and least venomous of the mamba species. These guys only get to about two meters, a large female, and the males are a little bit smaller than the females, so never reaching more than about 2.5 meters in length. A very, very cool species of snake, very well adapted to its environment, completely diurnal with this beautiful yellow eyes and this coffin-shaped head, which is distinctive of mambas. They're very arboreal snakes. They're often mistaken for spotted bush snakes. Any green snake, generally people think it's a mamba. So a lot of harmless green snakes get killed, unfortunately. And they have quite a different hunting technique to your black mambas and other mambas, which are active hunters. These guys have actually been seen doing ambush hunting, waiting up in the trees for birds and bats and other species of geckos, lizards, things like that. So they do feed on mammalian prey but they are more specialized bird eaters, which is why their venom toxicity is quite different to that of mambas. They don't have any alpha toxins in their venom, meaning that obviously due to their prey items, they've evolved a different toxin to be able to affect birds more so than mammalian prey. So they're the least toxic of the mamba species, but still a very fatal bite if you get bit by one of these guys. Really not a pleasant snake to get bit by, but there's very rarely any bites from these guys due to their very reclusive and very niche habitats living up in the forest, up in the canopy, completely away from humans. They do occasionally come into houses out here in Durban and KwaZulu-Natal, but very, very rarely so. These guys were actually back in the day when taxonomists were busy with describing species, it was considered and put under the Naja genus. So this was called Naja augusticeps but then got grouped into the black mamba and they thought it was a color variation of the black mamba and it was later described as its own species which is now Dendra aspis augusticeps. Now they don't move around a lot, the males will actively seek females out during the breeding season but females are quite reluctant to move around and will actually hang around in a tree and not move around more than five to six meters a day and hang around in that tree for quite a long time. So they're quite habitual creatures cruising around the same tree in the same area for a period of time. I've worked with three mamba species now and the only one left is the West African mamba. So hopefully I'll get lucky and go and check that guy soon. But on that note guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please do hit the subscription button, hit that notifications bell and stay tuned for the next species that we find out here in South Africa. And remember to stand for what we stand on.